welcome uh, on behalf of Welsh Government and uh, the Climate Group uh, to the business of becoming a sustainable nation, our Green Growth uh, Forum. I think what we're seeing here today is the ability for states and regions to come together as a collective to see what uh, we can do to deliver on the agreement. And we're seeing already the learning of best practice from across the globe. Uh, and our sharing of best practice from here in Wales. What we see at the Climate Group is that the sub-national level of government, there's a greater opportunity for flexible policy making that really responds to business needs. State and regional governments are key players in driving delivery of the Paris Agreement. They are often responsible for the development and implementation of laws, policies, strategies, standards, programs and fiscal mechanisms in areas that directly influence greenhouse gases emissions levels and deal with the impacts of climate change. What we really should be doing is thinking over the medium term and indeed over the next two years to build a coalition of countries that are prepared to push this into the international trading system because that is the only place where you can actually legally enforce a commitment to eliminate um, fossil fuel subsidies and therefore make a, a real contribution to climate change. State uh, and regional governments working with businesses uh, is key to dealing with climate change. If they don't work together, we have much lower chance of confronting climate change and making progress. And over the past 20 years, we've seen various subnational governments innovate, position themselves at the forefront of the fight against climate change, and it's our duty today to continue our efforts to transition to a green economy that strikes a balance between environmental protection, economic development, and whose long-term benefits will be substantial. Governments need to be working very closely with business community. Businesses are just as important as state and regional governments, but state and regional governments need to hold it all together and ensure that the overall approach is consistent and properly shared. So from a business perspective, business in general, and very specifically the food and drink manufacturing sector, are particularly exposed to climate change. So it's imperative that we understand and mitigate our impacts on the natural environment. BT is 100% powered by renewable energy. We've taken a full value chain approach to actually um, stepping up to the plate. So it's, it's not just about our own operations. We want to bring our suppliers with us. And governments and private sector working in partnership is absolutely fundamental to this. There is no option. It's quite simple. Well, Cumni, my hand bottle and botni and guithio te gat the bottle mui guith ar gallioki gallioki in guasanitha gali ir hanne drifard sidem and and gnaid niwed in amgulchad. Without partnership, there can be no green growth. It's only through working together that we can achieve our vision. Business being able to actually stand next to government and say the business case is clear, the science is proven, we're ready to actually deliver behind you. So I think that partnership between government, industry, the academic institutions within Wales are key to providing that sustainability in the future. I wish that more collaboration, more platforms are created for dialogue between business and government. Wales is a great place for sustainable business. I'm going to go to Gumnia Dodat Gilev, Gumnia Wythia Hevoy Gilev, and great business Sidon and Barrow that go to the bottom. But I'm certain that Quebec and Wales will work together to move things forward. This unique event has allowed us to start the conversation on delivery uh, between businesses, states, and regions, and develop the relationships that will be key for the future of green growth and the ambitions to become a reality in the future. So thank you very much indeed.